get to see Dave Fenoy. He's a lot of fun. I think you're going to enjoy this one. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's go. How are you? I'm good, how are good you? Good to see you. I'm so excited. There'll be a hundred chairs out there, the cars are gone, uh, there's a bar set up. That's a fun Yeah, we raised for. money for the Watsonville Brook Youth Symphony. Young young people who might not be able to take uh, music classes uh, to learn how to play violin and viola. Very nice. Cello. Well, I'm gonna be here Do you play summer. an instrument? Yeah. I played. I have bad hands now. I have carpal tunnel and trigger finger and uh, got fixed once, second time didn't work. Uh, the trigger finger, so it's... But I played guitar for a long time. Uh, that was my first profession uh, for a number of years until I realized I wasn't going to grow up to be a rock and roll star after all. And uh, went into radio and was a disc jockey for a while. 107.7 KSOL, morning guy up on the, in the Bay Area. And uh, now he's a different kind of rock I'm a star. Different kind of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but come on in. Come on in. I don't know why. Hey, I'm Dave Fenoy, and this is my take. A remote control, but not just any remote control. It's a straight-to-the-point remote control. It's a say-your-favorite-line remote control. An entertainment experience from Xfinity that makes your life easy. Wow. You know, I moved to Los Angeles in 1990 to do voiceover. And there was a, a brief period between 90 and 92 that I took some radio jobs that I was... Uh, a disc jockey at KACE and then Jazz FM. Uh, but in 1992, I gave all of that up, walked away from any other source of income, and uh, have been a freelance voice actor ever since. I'm Dave Fenoy. I am a voice actor, have been for um, years. And uh, you might know me as the Hulu guy. Oh, yeah. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. I don't know if that's surprising. Uh, but you have a lot of voices that come from Ohio. Uh, my friend Townsend Coleman is from Cleveland. Steve Harvey's from Cleveland? No, we'll, we'll forget about that. Um, went to a boys' private school. Uh, they might be surprised to know that. I don't think they'd be very surprised to know that I was a musician for a long time. Um, or radio... Uh, personality for a long time. I was a voice of Hulu for its first seven years. Uh, the following program is brought to you with limited and that thing. If you're into video games, you may know me from any number of characters. Volgen uh, on World of Warcraft, Gabriel Tosh, World of Starcraft, definitely Lee Everett, The Walking Dead game, but having been in about 300 video games, it's a long list. Uh, Lucius Fox, uh, eh, the list goes on. You may know me as one of the voices of uh, uh, Xfinity. Uh, some Xfinity spots have been playing in, uh, they played in the Super Bowl, they're playing in the, the Olympics right now. Um, if you're interested in uh, getting your Wi-Fi together in your house, you may know me as the voice of Plume. Uh, ethnically, I'm the tag voice you hear on a lot of stuff, on a lot of Lexus spots. I have been on lots and lots of commercials. Uh, uh, if you've ever watched uh, Science Channel, When Earth Erupts, uh, National Geographic, and Discovery. I've had the good fortune of having a career that's very varied. Uh, so, I'm on some cartoons, I'm on some video games, I'm on some narrations, uh, I've done TV promos for the WB, CBS, uh, ABC, uh, SoapNet, CNN, uh, and lots of other uh, channels. I sent you some questions. Did you get a chance to look at them? I could no, no. Okay, good. Good. Okay, let me... Let me you, know. <laughs> you can do that. I will stay leaning forward. I'll be strong. I'll be prominent in the shot. In the world of video games, playing Lee Everett in the Walking Dead game was definitely a job that changed my life. Uh, I had already been on about 70 or 80 games. I was pretty well known in the video game voice area, but uh, the game won 100 Game of the Year awards. I was nominated as best performer in a video game six or seven times, uh, including a BAFTA. I got to go to London. Uh, for the BAFTA ceremonies, and I won a machinima and a uh, dice award. Uh, 
for best performance in a video game. And that kind of put me on the map in the world of video games, the way a character actor that you've always loved their performances, but you didn't know their name, but you, oh, hey, that's so-and-so, and that I love him, her. Um, oh, what's her name? I don't remember. Uh, and now suddenly it's, oh, it's, uh, you know, BAFTA-nominated or award-winning uh, Dave Fennoy. It's like being, uh, it's like being nominated for an Oscar or winning one. Clementine. Clem. Remember to keep your hair short. Don't trust anybody. I'm sorry I can't be there with you forever, but I've gotten you this far. You'll make it the rest of the way. Lee Everett. You know the Walking Dead game, Lee Everett? Did you cry? Did you cry? Did you, did you cry? Yeah, you cried. You know what? Um, I, I, I can't imagine doing something else. Um, I thought for a long time that I was a musician. And uh, when I realized I wasn't going to grow up to be a rock and roll star anymore, and uh, I went into radio, and I enjoyed that. And all my musician friends said, wow, Dave, man, man. You're not playing music anymore. <laughs> Must hurt. And I realized then that it wasn't music specifically that I, uh, a musician specifically that I was. What I was was a performer. And as long as I can be doing performance in any way, I'm going to be a happy guy. If for some reason I had had an on-camera career and was a you know television actor or stage actor or something, then. Uh, I'd be happy with that, performing, and I really love what I do. Uh, Tony, how you doing? Homeboy, I mean, in the real sense of the word, because we're both from Cleveland. And I, I love you like a brother, but I just want to say, my school, Hawkins School, kick y'all school, university school's ass in football. Yeah.